If you had a smart suite, it is a very smart suite of tools. God, that was, that was bad. It's a productivity app that is really exciting. I have dubbed it ClickUp without the bugs. And luckily for me, uh, the people at SmartSuite reached out to me and I wanted to do some collaborations. So in this one, I'm gonna cover three secret SmartSuite features you have to try. Cause you know, seeing is believing. Thanks SmartSuite for sponsoring this video. So first and foremost, what I'm gonna show you is a default value. So in SmartSuite, there's a bunch of different fields that you can create, but when making what is called a new record or new row inside of SmartSuite, you're able to set default values for the different inputs in these fields. And where you're gonna be able to do this is in this settings spot right here. So if we press these three dots and go to modify field settings and then go to the default, what we can do is say, for example, in this circumstance, it's a status report system. If we press record creator, that would mean that if I update this, that by default, every single time a new status report would be made, the submitter would be the person that created it. Notice I'm the one who created it, so it's gonna assign it to me. Now, this is very important because in a lot of different systems, you're not gonna have the ability to, based on the filters, for example, have things autofill in like in other project and task management apps. But with this, we're able to set it by these different columns what the default field is going to be. I can also, moving forward, have it set up so that, for example, the spotlight status could be set to, if we go to defaults here, I can set this to red or yellow or green. So I'm gonna probably set it to red because it's in the beginning of the situation. So if I press this plus, I can do Allon 5.5. Notice it automatically set it up to me. And then I can place the reporting period after that as well. And the current risk level can be set here too. So we had a couple things that were baseline needed to kind of get this started. And there's no reason for me to manually input myself every time or whoever would be submitting it. So I really like this feature in SmartSuite. Number two is the fact that you can link across solutions. So we're kind of in what can be called a solution right now. Uh, if we go to the homepage here, you see that there are a bunch of different solutions here, right? So we have the status reports and then we also can go to project proposals and requests. So interestingly enough, these projects, proposals, can be linked to anything else, uh, specifically things like these status reports. So say for example, a new project request was being held up by an issue. So say this is the Allon project. What I can do here is I can add a new field, and I know that there's a lot of different fields to choose from, but I can click linked record here. So if I press linked record, Right, and then I can select a different app. So I could select from the status reports right here. Go to status reports, allow linking to multiple records. And I could even have it be required to an entry in this field. Now I'm not gonna do that, but I could. Then I press add this field here. And then say for example, we weren't doing this across this project and this status report here. For some reason, these two were segmented. It doesn't matter they can be linked across apps. So I can press this here and I can select all of the different Allen ones and press plus, 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 I said that a lot, and press linked record. And then that would connect the two. And then from this information, I could also get some roll up. So for example, I could do roll up and snag the link to status reports, select the roll up field. So I can do the uh, current risk level and then do the average. I can even filter some of these too, by the way, which is cool. And then I can press add field and you'll see that the average risk level, which is accurate based off of these would be two. And based on looking at this, that is accurate. The average of these would be two. So then in the same sense, I could go between these and then do the rebel and Xenon projects, Xenon project, and then snag those status reports from there as well by searching, which is very nice, by the way. I love that this structure is set up to do search and select multiple. It's a very simple and easy to use system. Not gonna lie, I, I really like the way that this is set up. Uh, like I said, click up without the box. And then the next thing is there is granular permissions at the app level. So something that a lot of people complain about with Notion and other apps is that you're not able to like have permissions at a more you know, targeted level. But if we go into, for example, these project requests here, 
I can click on permissions right here and I can choose who's going to have access to this specific app. So either all members have access, only teams, only these teams have access. So I can select specific teams that are within my workspace if I had more than one. And then with advanced permissions, I can just pick specific people and individuals as well. And not only that, I can give them full access, editor access, contributor, assignee, commenter. So these are a lot more levels of different access than other applications, which I really appreciate. The more granular availability that we have here, the better. And obviously, like was stated earlier, we can change this to be different. So if I go to here, you'll notice that since there's the ability to have permissions within this, I can have only these teams have access. But not only that, I can go into these specifically. And as we said, the specific app level, not just the solution level, can have permissions too. So this is the solution and then these are the apps and these apps specifically say I only want like the dev team to see these for example if I were to go to here and permissions I could set it to override solution permissions rather than inherit the solution permissions now this is something that we were talking about earlier with how notion just doesn't have this it's like at the database level and, that, and that, that's that's it like it's cool like nice but in this situation we're able to override it to change who is allowed to have access here or not, and even put specific team members. Love this, very convenient. The system overall is great. Thanks again for SmartSuite for the partnership, but seriously, this app is very powerful with minimal bugs, 12 out of 10, would recommend. And would recommend you check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.